All right, hopefully a video under five minutes. Got myself a, a new goldfish. I'm going to try and get myself back into goldfish again. Ever since I saw Creative Pet Keeping's uh, pearl goldfish and the one with the knot, I fell in love. But you know what? I got the best of, of both worlds. I got a pearl with a knot on its head like my flower horn. So this one I am keeping for very obvious reasons. Now, since I don't actually have a tank really set up for a goldfish, I'm actually going to put him in with my uh, little baby, uh, with my little baby gold, with my little baby uh, angelfish. It's only going to be temporary, and I'm going to be doing more constant water changes on the angelfish tank now, since I'll be uh, giving this guy temporarily be housing him in there. But um, <clears throat> most likely, what I'm going to end up doing. Is I'm gonna end up giving away most of my little baby angelfish to uh, worlds underwater. I don't really want to do that because these are the angelfish I've been growing out myself. So I personally want to, these are the personal ones I keep that I wanted to keep. But then again, I might also put them back into the 20 long. The only reason I moved them out of the 20 long was because the betta fry or the female betta. And whatnot, and the other beds I had in here, they really were just hiding when these guys were in there. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I do want to keep them, but that might change, unfortunately. Sorry about the reflections and the noise, but um, I'm also thinking maybe uh, putting my little angel fish in here with uh, my king bed and my two gup cups. That's because uh, this filter here is designed for 15 gallons. And this one's one of my normal beta cup filters. So I know I'll be able to handle the bio load in this tank. Excluding the fact that I also have a literal jungle full of poppice plants. So this tank here can absolutely handle the bio load if I uh, drop all my baby angel fish into here. The only thing I'm worried about is my king beta because my king beta is a bit of a jerk. He did chase after my two little cup cups in here initially for like the first three days. But as you can tell, they're getting along just fine. So like I figure out how exactly I'm going to put my, uh, put them in here so that he can get used to them before I actually release. I'll probably just use one of my one gallon, uh, one of my little one gallon uh, fish tanks I got laying around I used to do water changes with and I'll just stick them in there and whatnot. But with that said, to make sure this video is under 5 minutes long, I'm going to stop here. Quick little update. Angelfish are doing just fine. Goldfish is doing fine too, though it's hiding. It still has to get used to me. But when I'm not sitting here looking at it or with the camera in my head, or not head, but in my hand, it's out and about. So far so good. Sorry about the lighting being a little dim. The LEDs I'm using for this tank are hot garbage. It's cute and chubby. That's all I can say. Oop, and he ran away. Well, it's been about, mm, he's been here now for about three to four hours or so. And he's relatively doing just fine. He's very spunky. He is up and about. Again, he's still trying to get used to me, so he is going to hide whenever I come close. And the angelfish are more or less just leaving him alone because they're angelfish. Again, sorry about the, uh, sorry about it being so dark. Uh, this camera really doesn't like this, uh, doesn't like this tank light for some reason. So I'll come back with, this, with another video probably in the next few days to give an update on how my little guy is doing. Alright, quick last update. He's been in here for about 19 hours or so, give or take. And as you can tell, he's doing just fine. It's actually the next day. And he's still doing his uh, goldfish duties. And of course, my angel fish are just begging for begging for food like they always do. But the uh, my little my little goldie fish is doing just fine. 
So I'll just uh, leave him be and I'll come back probably like a week or two of an hour update to see how he's going. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to actually remove these guys, move these guys into the uh, tank in my kitchen or just leave them here because they're not messing around with the goldfish and the goldfish can handle a heated tank. It's not really, uh, you really aren't supposed to put goldfish in heated tanks. They can live in them but they do best in, in uh, basically cold water. But uh, I don't know yet. I'm, right now, I'm just making sure he's still alive. I'm not alive, but I'm making sure he's pretty much healthy to get healthy and whatnot. So I'm going to more or less keep him like this for a while until I make sure, until I know that he's actually more or less good to go. And then I'll probably move these guys off. But for right now, it's going to be like this.